these guys. They're Omar's men and this is all bullshit. We're here as peacekeepers. No incident, Sergeant. Oh yeah. Just love them to death. Please take me to the men, the men with the blue hats. The blue hats, take me to them.
Chopper coming in, it's a medevac. Just a little further. That's it. Bravo 9, Bravo 9, we're on the rooftop. Northwest 7th sector. Do you copy over?
It's already been paid for. grand to the one who kills the other. What's your problem? Well, you you seem like a man who needs something, know what I mean? You know, you're the first white man in ten years to fight in the Comitas. That makes you really interesting. There's a lot of people who pay a fortune to see you fight. By a night of ghosts and shadows, ten leagues beyond the wide world's end, and he thinks it is no journey, friend. You are full of shit. Hey, Marine! Who are you calling a Marine? Yeah. You're the asshole. They offered me 20 grand to snuff the fighter. Why didn't you take it? Why didn't you go for the goal?
Doesn't mean that much to me. You've probably got twice that in your wallet anyhow. Are you gonna try and take it? Can you afford to lose it? Ooh. Hey, Doc. You wanna wage whether or not this Marine tries to take me? Where did you get this? No one ever teach you manners. A gentleman doesn't touch a lady until after the invitation. This pin belongs to a Marine. Show a little respect. Or a Marine's lady. You have some respect, cowboy. Hey, cowboy, don't be so sensitive. Come, join us for a little R&R. &R. Come on, I owe you. the edge of it. Mark the code. Keep on standby. Two, two. Friends don't look real happy. Nonsense. Everybody loves Wolf Larson. Say you good love, buddy, over there. I'm getting ready to chop you into small pieces. Kind of looks like that, don't it? Let's get them to show their hand. You're gamering. Whatever. Easy, Doc. Easy, easy. See, the Doc here thinks I'm a little crazy. Some uh, megatomic uh, gobbledygook. Yeah, isn't that what I said? How about it? How about what? Well, how about we, we kind of stir up the soup a little bit, we walk on the razor's edge, we, we kind of let the world know that we're still kicking. The man at that table's Tomo. Yeah, he runs every worthwhile racket on the waterfront. Drugs, guns, flesh, you name it. King of the hill. <laughs> King shit. Yeah, well, he's, he's not exactly fond of the competition from Mr. Wolf Larson. He would cut my throat at the drop of a hat. Shall we sit down? stops you from taking them out? Well, because then I'd have to be king shit and bored shit. You see, I need this frog's knife in my throat to make me feel alive. Like you need to jump back in that ring. <coughs> see what I mean? See, you gotta live on the razor's edge. Or else you die. Why don't you just blow your own brains out? Save everybody else the trouble. What are you, one of those walking dead? I've seen enough of those in Nam. So have I. <clears throat> Sorry. It's a. Uh, it's uh, It's numb. It's, uh, yeah. 
half my right side. <laughs> Damn VC grenade. Half of it's still stuck in my head. Security goes off every time I go through the, the airports. Uh, don't you go spoil these Asian women now, cowboy. They don't appreciate it. Well, to my uh, Marine friend who made me $100,000 tonight, and to honor and glory. So one day, there's this fella in Asia, new to Asia, and he meets a woman, see? And he takes her to a hotel. And they spend all night together, and she keeps on crying, Nagu, 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 Nagu. <laughs> and, and he doesn't know what to make of it. Anyhow, next morning, she's gone. She's gone. So uh, he goes and plays a game of golf. Went to the golf course, hole in one, terrific. The fella said, uh, Nagu Nagu, sir. <laughs> Nagu Nagu. <laughs> he said, What does that mean? Oh, it means it's in the wrong hole, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. Come here. Who's that for? Mr. Tomo, sir. Mr. Tomo. Well, maybe Mr. Tombo would enjoy his Sunday with a little Cuban cherry on top. <laughs> Here, bring it over to him. Sorry. No, sir, I can't. What is the problem? Sir, I've got a family, sir. You have a family? Well, if you don't bring that over, my crazy white friend here is going to eat your family. The uneaten family. Good. <laughs> Position your men. Mm -hmm. oh, Don't go. Relax. I'll be back. With my compliments. Gone too far. Stop it, police! Don't do it, Tombo. Take it. Thank you, officers. Get him out of here. <laughs> Captain, I haven't finished my cigar. <laughs> Okay, come on. Hey, Larson. Did he have any family? I'm going to pin this on your ass. Cap, it was my car. You... Captain, we received a call. What call? An anonymous tip. What 
did they say? I'm not exactly sure, but they said it was important, and I really think you should check this out yourself. Interesting evening, to say the least. Let's go. No, 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 wait. What's wrong? Nothing. I just, I gotta get out of here. Can you stay just for a little while? Okay. You sure you're right? Yeah. You just help yourself to anything you want. I'm in the shower if you need me. Did something to me. Who? Oh. I was in the service. Africa. Man, it messed me up. Everyone is messed up a little. Yeah. Not like me. Think you're the only one?
Ask you a question. Mm-hmm. What are you doing with Larson? I belong to Larson. Come on, it's the twentieth century. It's not so bad, though. Oh yeah, he's a real sensitive guy. I could tell. Ah! 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 Ah!
dead. Look in here! Go! He's on the rooftop. We're on the way up now. We'll secure the exits. the north side of the building. Oh. We've got him. Oh. It seems that you've run out of rope. <laughs> Let's pull him up. Captain! Captain Cano! Oh. We've lost him! Don't fight, you idiot! Don't fight! Horatio Carter, born November 11, 1964, graduate of the Citadel Military Academy, commissioned as an officer in the United States Marine Corps, 1987, led a black operation into Iraq during the Gulf War, wounded in battle, awarded a Medal of Honor for extracting prisoners from behind enemy lines. He was temporarily discharged in 1992. Why? He shot a Kuwaiti officer. Weren't they on the same side? The Kuwaiti was torturing his Iraqi prisoners. Mm -hmm. The charges were finally dismissed, but Carter was demoted to an enlisted man. Two years later, he was assigned to a United Nations peacekeeping contingent in East Africa. Mm -hmm. He was somehow involved in an incident that led to the massacre of his entire company. He was responsible. He was the only one left. He was a deserter hiding where the others fought. The report doesn't say, Captain. It simply notes extenuating circumstances leading to a medical discharge, but no court-martial. Sounds like a runner. Keep the usual checkpoints. Embassies, border, he'll turn up. 
do it now. He'll move fast. This is a guy from the rooftop. Give me the captain. Hello? It was self-defense. Larson's whore set me up. I see it another way. I see it that you are a paid killer. Paid by Larson to kill his competition and to leave him with the perfect alibi. I am not going to be locked up again. Do you hear me? Your concerns for self-preservation are admirable. I really wish I had the luxury to feel sorry for you. Hi, Auntie. Same, please. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Boy Scout. What would you like to drink? A Coke. Two. Sit with me. Okay. Auntie's looking not so well. She's too old to work that hard. Too old. She won't take money from me. Then you should make her. I'm not as clever as you at forcing my will on people. <laughs> you were always more clever, but not very smart. You mean if I were smart, I could be married to a two-bit policeman? <laughs> so in clothes to pick up the side money? Huh. How are you? Fine. And the kids are fine. You should come and see. And how's Tanya? How does she look? Like shit. Poor little Tanya. When did you start again? Start what? Oh, come on. You're wearing a long sleeve blouse on a hot day. Your pupils are dilated. Trying to bust it, Karma. Maybe I should. What's the American up to? I don't know. How does he fit in the organization? He doesn't. It's nobody. Just a toy in his game. Another dumb toy. That's all? That's all. So why does it sound to me like you're trying to protect him? Why would I do that? Poor men aren't my style. You know that. Don't push your luck. I can't protect you forever. No, I'm sure. Just as long as you need me. Hmm. Get the American if you want. He's not trying to get you Larson. Only I can. Be careful, little Tanya. You're sitting on too many edges of the fence. What? You've seen this photo? No. Do you want me to describe what they've done to them? What? My half hour is up? Couldn't afford a half hour. Yeah, but Larson can. Whole lifetime.
I'll watch out for her. What assurances can you give me that the merchandise you're selling me is not sick? Doctor, is our merchandise sick? That is a medical doctor. Of course. Doctor, do something medical. If any of my customers get ill, my balls on the line. As it would be his. I will see you in the morning. Get out. Get out. Come down and redeem us from virtue, our lady of pain. Oh, who invited you? It's the boss. He's had another attack. It's really bad this time. I don't know, the more I give him, the more immune he seems to get. The, uh... He needs your magic touch, know what I mean? When the single nerves are that... Flat, anything can happen. And then where would we be, eh? Without a pot to piss in. You see, uh, we got something in common, you and me. He'll kill you for touching me. Oh, I'd say he's been quite free about who touches you. What about Tom, eh? Right? And Mr. Carter and all the others he's trying to manipulate. So who are you to be so choosy? Hey, I've done things. Survive for money and also for revenge. Most of them deserved my betrayal. And you don't deserve even that.
You know, even with that devil running around inside my head, I could never hurt you. Sure, you never hurt me. It's getting worse, you know. You should stop. Stop what? Doing your business. <laughs> Be a good little monkey. Hear no evil, see no evil. Speak no evil. Do you remember that wonderful little Warang Soto you took me to in the old city? I don't remember. Sure you do. I think you knew the old woman who ran the place. I don't remember going there with you. Anyway, I haven't been there in years. It's funny. I think this is yours. No shame in trying to help an old woman. But this was your gift. One should never give away a gift. Do you want something from the doctor? Is he going to take her away? It's all right. He's here to help you. Mm -hmm. hmm. Travelers? Like the others. I think this one is Cambodian. We are waiting for the interpreter. They are addicted to heroin. <sighs> Larson! Okay, get her some help. Okay.
Come. You were so interested in my business. I thought you should see more. Then let's see. That one over there. That one. That one. In the back. Hmm. It's for you. <laughs> the pliability of the human spirit never ceases to amaze me. That's it. Hey, get back in. Get back in. Hey, where you going? What are you gonna do with them? Perhaps one of them will turn out to be as clever as you were. Were? Be careful who you dine with. Isn't that right, Doc? Right. He's lying. The doctor? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> He's too stupid to lie. But you were too clever. Did you ever really feel anything? Maybe you will have to ask. Some secrets remain secrets. Kill her. Larson. 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 Come on. Son, you in the car. Cow. come across anyone from customs, don't tell them about the, uh, the 12 keys of heroin in the trunk. They may not understand. 
Waren wir ja. Tomo show up at your place and try to kill me, huh? But after seeing you fight, he knew the opposite would happen. It's another one of his games. Just see if you can get the latch. It's locked. Like that. Like what? Like you're gonna hit me. I am not gonna hit you. How the hell did you end up like this? You learned to lie. You learned to pretend you're happy. Men like that. Sometimes you can even pretend to yourself. But your dream. Dreams such nightmares. In this way, my friend. But I gotta go.
Okay, hold on. There was the girl you said, Larson's girlfriend. I didn't say. If there is a girl, would you know what happened to her? She would have burned, I guess. I mean, who could have made it out of there? What's it to you, anyhow? This is not America, Mr. Carter. You saw what he was doing. Yeah, I saw. You still can do the right thing. Oh, I'm doing the right thing. I believe the suspect is entitled to a private meeting. Come on. You got some balls. <laughs> Well, the cops couldn't hold me on anything. <laughs> I may just reach across and snap your fucking neck. Go ahead. You'd never get out of here. Yeah, but neither would you. Handcuffs are a wonderful thing. Why didn't you tell him everything? I'm planning on it. Or maybe I just wanted to save her cutting your throat for myself. You didn't tell them everything because you're a man of honor. But you wouldn't turn me in. That to an outsider. You know, she's really quite a little survivor.
going up. You just died in a car crash. You're a free man. I don't like loose ends. It's not good for my image. So why don't you get in the damn boat? You've crossed the line. Soldier, you were just a simple backup. It was all set up to take out Tomo in the club. It cost me a good driver, too. You should thank me for taking you out of your funk. You see? Nobody wants you to stay. The game's over. Maybe I'm not ready to stop playing. I think you are. Put your gun down. Tell me. How can a fucking Marine officer make a buck selling little girls? It's easy. Ten grand a head. Choice ones fetch more in the Middle East. I hope that's enough for you, Carno.
Come on, Larson, hold on! Don't let go, come on! I don't think so! It's been fun, cowboy. Back up to the truck and land.